When I was in Korea, I went to academy until night as all the students did and I'm sure all of you also did. I couldn't play outside because it was so dark and I didn't want to study because I did it all day and I didn't want to sleep so early. Therefore, my only choice was to play computer game and this applies for almost every male student in Korea. There are a lot of people who play games around the world. Especially Korea is one of the most famous country in the field of gaming. WCG, which is the biggest game event in the world, was held 12 times but Korea won 7 of them out of 70 countries which participated. But sadly, the Korean government doesn't know that. Now, the Korean government is trying to destroy the game industry. Have you heard of the screen, the goose that laid golden eggs? In the story, finally, the owner kills the goose that laid golden eggs. However, he didn't get any of the golden eggs after getting the one which, which was inside the goose. Today, the Korean government is about to murder the Korean game industry and freedom of citizens and lost the great chance. Sadly, the Korean government doesn't know that. Therefore, I think the Korean government should we consider about deregulating the game addiction law and work with the game industry as best as they can. First of all, the Korean government is trying to suppress the, in the, and the entire industry. Nowadays, game industry is one of the most potential industries in Korea. According to Korea Times, the Korea game industry is expected to reach $10 billion in this year. I think destroying this huge industry is not a good idea for the country and either the game industry. However, the government is tra still trying to regulate the game industry. As an example, last year the law called shutdown was regulated in order to prevent the game addiction of the teenagers. However, the side effect occurred. The law only discreets 0.3% of the game time of teenagers. However, the teenagers started to use their parents' identification instead of theirs. Even though they had the great failure, government is trying again to stop the game addiction. If the government makes an, another law about gaming, the, per, the people working in the field of gaming will become shufflers with no jobs. Then the government should take care of those people with families to carry on but no jobs. This isn't only for the internet cafe owners. According to Korea Times, around 100,000 people are working in the field of gaming. I think Korea can't bear huge amount of unemployed people since Korea already has high employed, high unemployed rate. Meanwhile, the directors of many media contents are worrying about the future of the game industry. According to directors, the game industry is walking the same road as the comic industry in the 1980s to the 1990s. Indeed, they have a lot of things in common. As an example, the Korea, the comic industry had a lot of potential at birth, but the society considered them as the devil for teenagers. At last, the government destroyed the comic industry by making a lot of laws about it. Likewise, the game industry has to run with prejudice of the society. In this way, the game industry has the similar disadvantages with the comic industry. Next, the People also say the law is clearly opposed to citizens and existing laws. Most of people say that it is violating the, the, the law. According to a professor, <coughs> professor of graduated school, the law is against the existing law, which is freedom of expression. If you see the article 22 under the law, freedom of expression, though it clearly says that all citizens have to 
have right to do or watch any literature, literature or art. Dr. Spencer said that the law is suppressing the freedom of citizens. Also, there is the most crucial part of the law. If you look at the game addiction law closely, you can find out that the law is controlling media content, but not specifically games. A lot of people, such as lawyers, are worried about the word media content because the video content includes things such as internet, music and video, etc. I think all of the citizens should be aware of that because controlling the media content, media is controlling the knowledge of the people. However, a lot of people who are supporting the law say that game is too addictive for the teenagers, so government should take control of it. I think the statement is exaggerated. In my experience, I was, I was once addicted to the game. However, now I don't, I don't overplay online games without any of the outside pressure, such as peer pressure or parents. How, it, how would it be possible if the game was like drugs, alcohol, or gambling? This is not only my opinion, but, the, but other people's idea as well. A famous German game developer says that games are controllable by gamer, gamers themselves. His example is that USA, the ESRB, which is a content rating system, is working perfectly without any regulation of the government. He argues that it's not to blame the game industry, but to teach parents to control their child. Also, he says that the law is a job because they can't forbid food when their children become overweight. I think it should be the gamers who need to control themselves rather than government controlling the entire industry. Also, governments should think about the reason that teenagers play games. Before blaming the game industry, the government should think about the environment that the past generations had made, which forced the teenage forced teenagers to play games as I said in the group. However, despite of all these reasons, the government is still trying to dis control the game industry under them. But the government should realize that game addiction law is wrong both economically and ethically. If the Korean government forbid the game, what about the students in Korea? What are they going to do? They are, there's nothing that they can do instead of gaming. I hope our society to trash their preconceptions and the Korean government to reconsider the game addiction law and, takes, and don't take the golden eggs away from the game industry. Thank you.